Welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're having a look at the Excel for Finance tips and specifically on what is yield. Yield is a, a word that you may have heard quite a lot and specifically relating to finance. So um, if you don't already have this uh, spreadsheet and you want to play along, um, go to ExcelExperts.com and just in the search, search for yield and then it's tip number eight, Excel for Finance tips, uh, along with a an explanation and some screenshots. So what is yield? So we, we've already seen what IRR is, which is internal rate of return. Well, yield is very, very similar to IRR. It is the rate of return of a series of cash flows, which is what IRR is. But they're designed for slightly different things. Yield is a bond function and IRR is an investment appraisal function. So with the IRR function, you enter the series of cash flows and a guess for what the internal rate of return is. For the yield function, You can see I've had to tailor it slightly differently. So let's insert the function, Alt-I-F, and then here we've got the settlement date of the bond. So I've just entered 20th of February. The maturity, which is 20th of February 2014, so that's a five-year bond. The rate, well, in this case, I've just called it zero because it's a zero coupon bond and this is the easiest example we can use. PR is the price. So I've assumed that we're paying 75 and we enter minus 75 into the IRR function because we pay out and then we get back. In the yield function, bizarrely, we, um, we enter a positive number. Well, actually, it's not too bizarre, but uh, it, it's different. So redemption is this. And the frequency one, that means number of coupons per year, which is one. So it's an annual bond. And the basis, we just leave that blank. So if I click OK and have a look at that. So this yield function with those inputs is the same as this IRR function with those inputs. The yield function is actually slightly slightly different in that it gives you more flexibility. You can enter dates rather than assuming that the cash flows are annual. And you can also enter se semi-annual cash flows as well. Let's have a look at a 5% five, five, five year coupon bond. Let's say we pay 75 for it today. Uh, and just to prove that it wasn't just the case for the zero coupon, the IRR is 11.92 and the yield is also 11.92. You've been listening to excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to check the IRR description because that will give you a bit more insight as to what this is.